The advocacy against the rape culture has once again gained support as Nollywood actress Foluke Daramole Salako calls for very stiff penalty against offenders. Plus TV Africa entertainment correspondent Ife Olua Oshunke brings us more. Karen Thespian and rape activist Foluke Daramola Salako was on Plus TV Africa's entertainment show Tea Time to add a voice against rape. The actress, who is a rape survivor, runs an NGO, Passion Against Rape and Abuse in Africa. She revealed that most of the cases on the table in recent times involve religious leaders' complicity in the menace. I mentioned that even before I heard the part of Uwa's story, that it has some belt of churchism in it. Now, Africans, Nigerians, we take a whole lot of things for granted. And we push our responsibilities too much to God. A parent would say, go to church. The thing that you're supposed to teach your child at home, you will tell her to go to church to learn it. You will tell your child to go to her pastor to tell her that she has started menstruating. Mm. Mm. You will tell your daughter to go and meet the pastor to pray for her when she's looking for a life partner. Why are you making, why are you creating vulnerability Meeting. for both parties? The actress come activist, however, disagrees with comments that Nollywood is one of the major contributors to the rape culture in Nigeria. Mm -mm. It's a 50-50 thing. Garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. You cannot give what you don't have. It's so you cannot separate Nollywood from the system itself? You can't! You cannot expect Nollywood to be giving you Hollywood standard movies. How? Where? It is what is in the society first. Now, what I think, in my own perspective, is for us to channel this, these platforms to understand that you have to neg make sure you negate this abuse and rape for, with anything you do. Mm. She advocates castration as a punishment for rape. Definitely. Mm. Castration, oh, castration straight. <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> castration straight. As voices against the vice increase, one can only hope that the crime will truly be treated with disdain and victims will no longer be victimized. Ifeolua Oshunkeye for PLOS TV Africa.